and we're bound for ride. Oh, hello. Welcome to the lighthouse. You're standing in a full-size replica of Nantucket's Bright Point Light. Cozy, isn't it? Isn't Why so small? Come with me. 250 years ago, sailors didn't have GPS devices. Getting into harbor while avoiding sandbars was like navigating an obstacle course. So, the people of Nantucket built the nation's second lighthouse. It didn't need to be seen from far away, so they kept it small. Which was lucky, because fire, wind, and water took a toll. This lighthouse has been rebuilt eight times, a national record. And, while we're talking records, check these out. First lighthouse in recorded history, Alexandria, Egypt. It stood more than 400 feet tall. Our nation's first lighthouse, Boston Light. West Coast Pioneer, Alcatraz Island Light, and Foggy San Francisco Bay. Earliest lighthouse to go electric, the Statue of Liberty. Last manned lighthouse built in America, Charleston, South Carolina. Also the only one with an elevator. And country with the most lighthouses, the United States. Why all the shapes and sizes? Each site had its own challenges. From mud, sand, ice, rocks, and offshore reefs, to budgets and building materials. If you need a short-range beacon to guide ships into harbor, a small tower and light work fine. But to signal ships further off the coast, a tall tower and a bright beacon are just the thing. Rising 201 feet, Cape Hatteras Light is our nation's tallest lighthouse. Wondering why it looks like a giant barber's pole? Daymarks help sailors identify lighthouses. Remember, it's all about navigation. Innovation didn't stop with the buildings. The first fog signal was a cannon at Boston Light. If the fog didn't lift, the keeper had to keep firing every half hour, sometimes for days on end. Fortunately, technology advanced, and fog bells were connected to a clockwork-style system that only needed winding every few hours. Lighting technology took a big leap forward to... designed to be seen many miles at sea. Smaller sixth-order lenses were built for short-range navigation. And, in case you're wondering, the light above your head is a fourth-order light. Its range is about 10 miles. Since 1716, lighthouses along American waterways have helped ships get where they need to go. Supporting trade and saving untold lives. So, next time you see a lighthouse, give it a good look. And remember, it's more than a pretty place. It's there because it has a job to do.